Just remotely. Patrick Harvey. Thank you, Presiding Officer. This situation began with an extremely serious issue, the mishandling of an investigation into sexual harassment allegations. And I honestly wish that everyone's focus had remained on that issue. But what we've seen since then has been the deliberate, systematic and entirely cynical exploitation of that issue to suit motives which are all too apparent today. The media in Scotland and throughout the UK is awash with speculation about the Sturgeon Salmon psychodrama. The coverage of this is dominated by one question, what does this mean for the independence cause, when we should be asking what this means for the treatment of harassment or for the position of those who want to call it out. Sadly, we already know the answer to that question. Since the original committee leaks months ago, through multiple instances of MSPs on that committee prejudging the evidence, announcing their political motivations to the world, and then to the disgraceful betrayal of trust, the original complainers over the last weekend. What should have been a serious inquiry has descended into farce. I believe this is the deliberate choice of those who have nothing to offer the people of Scotland. They looked at the devolved institutions and saw a high level of public trust in them and could not bear it. And they set about trying to drag everything down to their level. They will fail. But as a direct result of their actions, the women who complained about sexual harassment in the first place had to put out a statement via Rape Crisis Scotland to complain about the violation of their trust. 